Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the 12th lesson in meteorology. We're going to be discussing weather fronts. The definition of a front, a front is the transition zone between two different air masses at a different temperature. This zone, this transition zone, is typically about 50 to 100 nautical miles distance. We can have four main types of fronts. We can have a cold front. Uh, denoted by blue triangles, a warm front denoted by red semicircles, an occluded front denoted by circles and triangles on the same side, often they're magenta, and stationary front which alternates uh, between red on the circle, semicircles and blue triangles on opposite sides. We'll discuss these in a moment. Talk about how a front uh, will form or a frontal wave. In this case, often we'll have a cold air mass beside a warm air mass, and they're moving in anti parallel directions. Now, let's say the cold air is moving to the left, the warm air is moving to the right. Then eventually the warm air mass will start bulging into the cold air mass, as you can see here. This continues, and uh, in figure three, you have the uh, warm air mass down here pressing up here and then we have the cold air mass down here and then this uh, pattern continues until everything kind of it catches up to one another and we have an occluded front which would occur up here this is also another symbol for an occluded front they catch up and then eventually they just make an equilibrium and and the air masses uh, and, and moisture contents of the two uh, are approximately the same. So here's a cross section of a couple uh, fronts. The first one here is a cold front. So we would have cold air right here. So this is going to be cold advancing on uh, warm air, or we'll just call it H for hot over here. As it forces its way underneath, it raises, uh, pushes up this hot air, creating unstable air. Then uh, we look over here, this will be a warm front. Okay, and a warm front will make this uh, blue, cold right here. So a warm front uh, can either be the warm air rising up over the cold air, or it can be retreating cold air. This cold air is moving this way, leaving behind this uh, the warm air uh, following it. Then typically in a warm front, we end up with these high clouds, mostly stable air, the cirrus, ultrastratus, and nimbostratus. It's kind of the characteristic uh, warm front weather. There's a nice cross section of uh, warm fronts and cold fronts. Here's the first one is the cold front. So you can see this cold air is advancing on the warm air, forcing this warm air up. We're getting unstable weather, uh, such as cumulonimbus clouds. We can get thunderstorms. And then uh, on the bottom one, we have this warm air right here. It's either advancing on the cold air or it's the uh, cold air retreating from the warm air. And so you have this nice gentle slope. You have these cirrus, cirrostratus, altostratus, nimbostratus uh, type cloud uh, formation. Cold front weather uh, is uh, typically associated with unstable air creating thunderstorms. It's fast moving. You end up with decreasing temperature and increasing wind suddenly. But when it passes, you end up with clear skies because now you're completely in a cold clear air mass. Uh, by contrast, a warm front uh, is considerably slower moving. And one thing you should uh, pretty much memorize is the cloud progression, because you'll see this pretty much all the time. You start with cirrus, cirrostratus, altostratus, and finally stratus, low cloud. And if you have the, in the winter, we have something called a winter warm front, and it will be uh, characterized by precipitation. And you'll notice this, you first start getting snow, then you get ice pellets, then you get freezing rain, and then you get rain. So this is quite common because you have this inversion uh, at the, at first, when you get your, your snow from your higher cloud, it just falls into cold air. And then as that uh, warm front approaches, you have uh, warmer air on top, colder air down below, until finally, once the front passes, you're just in warm air causing just rain. 
We also have uh, friends called Trowel, which is a short for a trough of warm air aloft. It's also called an occluded front in the United States. Canada, they call it a trowel. The symbol is slightly different. So I showed you earlier the symbol uh, with an occluded front is alternating uh, red and blue triangles and semicircles. And then in Canada, we have what's called the trough of warm air aloft. You can see this here, and it's actually magenta, and they, they make these arrows. Okay. And this occurs when you have a cold front catching up to a warm front at a certain area. So take a look on the left. Uh, we have an area. Let's just say we're right here. Okay. So we just went through warm air or just through a warm front. So here's the cross section right here. We look at it. We were sitting right here. This was the first, what I said. So we just went through a warm front and now the cold front's approaching. That's what we see. However, as time goes on, and let's just say, I'm just gonna make this a different color so we can figure it out. We're gonna be purple right here. So we're right here, and this is this right here, okay? The cold front has caught up to the warm front, okay? So now you have two different fronts and up here, you have a trough. Here's the warm air, right, or hot, okay? So this is the trough of warm air. See how it kind of makes a trough up here of warm air aloft. And so you get a, the worst of both fronts. You end up with things like freezing rain and thunderstorm at the same time. And it's just absolutely miserable. And then lastly, let's just say we're up here at the top. And that's this right here. Now we've pretty much, it's kind of equalized itself out. You have cold air and cool air. Um, and it's considerably higher. The weather has kind of cleared up at this point, and we just, the warm air is above. We can also have upper fronts, which is when you have a front on top of a low level air mass. So here's a, a picture or a diagram, cold air, and you see this upper front right here. This cold, it's sitting, the, the front's right here, but it's sitting on top of this cold air mass. So you, uh, it can be cold or warm. You just end up getting frontal weather, but the cold air is, is below. So this might still be, let's say, a warm front, but it's still freezing cold for a while until this uh, bottom air mass clears out. A front is the boundary between two air masses that are advancing or receding. A cold front is cold air forcing itself under the warm air. It's associated with unstable weather and gusty winds. A warm front is a warm air mass advancing or a cold air mass retreating. The weather associated, the clouds are cirrus, cirrostratus, ultrastratus, and stratus. In the winter, we can get these winter warm fronts where we get snow, ice pellets, freezing rain, and then rain. An occlusion or a trowel is a cold front that is caught up to a warm front. You will end up with both warm front and cold front weather. It is winter and you observe the following clouds, cirrus, cirrostratus, altostratus, stratus. What is the primary danger of this weather system? So remember, what kind of front is associated with these clouds? Well, that would be a warm front. And what kind of uh, precipitation in the winter will we get from a warm front? Well, we'll get things like ice pellets and freezing rain. So icing is going to be a, a big, big consideration. Uh, that's going to be the most dangerous thing. It's not going to be thunderstorms. We're not going to see thunderstorms in a winter warm front. And you, yeah, you might get poor visibility, but that's not nearly as bad as as the icing. And then hurricanes, uh, no, that's we don't really deal with that. Uh, it's not really typical of our weather systems in Canada, although we, we can get hurricanes in the, in the maritime regions. A cold front is primarily associated with what type of weather? So remember a cold front, we're going to have, it's the cold air forcing its way under the warm air, pushing warm, moist air up. So it's going to be unstable. We're gonna end up with thunderstorms uh, with cold fronts. And the faster that cold front moves, the bigger the thunderstorms will be. What weather phenomenon occurs when a fast moving cold front catches up to a warm front? So remember when you have a cold front catching up to a warm front, we call that an occluded front, which causes a uh, trowel, a trough, warm air aloft. So you get both cold front and warm front weather. So you start with possible freezing rain. Uh, let's say we're in the winter, so it's a possibility, but then we follow it up with thunderstorms. Uh, so kind of the worst of both worlds. That concludes this lesson on fronts. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in our next lesson.